Moving on, Indefi Technology is a Gurgaon-based lending platform that enables debt financing for small businesses has appointed Sangram Singh as its chief executive officer. The company claims this strategic move reinforces its commitment uh, to sustained growth, innovation and providing enhanced financial services to the MSME sector. Indefi has dispersed over 96,000 loans across 400 plus cities with a total disbursement value of over 5,100 crore rupees. And to talk to us about the road ahead at Indefi, join Joining me now is its newly appointed CEO, Sangram Singh. Uh, also joining us is my colleague, Arundhati. Sangram, welcome to Startup Street. As the CEO, you will drive growth of the core Indifi franchise and founders Alok Mittal and Siddharth uh, Mahanot are to drive product and segment expansion. Sangram, what is the top agenda for you? How are you looking at Indifi's expansion? Thank you so much for uh, giving the opportunity. Yeah, I think Indifi's had a, a great time in the last few years. It's really expanded very well. Uh, like you mentioned, 96, more than 96,000 loans uh, have been dispersed. Uh, the AUM has doubled over the last one year or so. And I think the first agenda of business is to continue driving the growth uh, that has already been clogged. At the same time, work out on new opportunities, new partnerships, new channels, uh, which allow us to pursue the objective that we have in the organization, which is of providing uh, easier access or to debt capital to MSMEs. And that's, I think that's what's going to keep us busy for the next 18 to 24 months. All right. Uh, Sangram Arundhati here. Uh, take us through Indifi's offerings at this point and how are you improving the experience for borrowers regarding credit access as well as the speed and convenience of the loan process? Yeah, absolutely. I think the... Uh, the main thing that we try to differentiate is how we use technology and how we use uh, data in uh, enabling credit access to the MSMEs. You know, it's a, it's a very large segment and uh, I think everybody understands that there's a great opportunity in MSMEs. Uh, but what we focus on is working a lot with partnerships that allow us better access to data, which uh, helps us take better decisions and uh, you know, reach out to the MSMEs far quicker than what we would be able to do okay. without those partnerships. All right. You know, Indifi currently has assets under management in excess of 2,000 crore rupees. You recently launched instant business loans and have enabled working capital finance uh, to D2C brands. What is the kind of impact you've created so far and any new offerings in the pipeline, Sangra? So new offerings can... Uh, are there, and I think we'll talk about it as we get closer to rolling them out. Uh, but our approach is to continue to do innovation in lending. As far as impact is concerned, yes, that's been one of the key agendas for us. So you will find that in our portfolio, more than 25% of the loans that we've extended are to women entrepreneurs. Uh, we have been reaching out to new to credit customers. Nearly a quarter of the customers that we do are again new to credit. Uh, we do expand beyond the top uh, metro cities and a lot of our loans come from tier two, tier three. Uh, the entire idea is to be able to reach out to, uh, to MSMEs who would normally find it a little difficult, uh, especially to get unsecured uh, debt and make things simple for them. Right. And Indifi has dispersed over 96,000 loans across 400 uh, plus cities, right? So what's the current NPA picture? And you have been profitable since 2022. So how do you plan to maintain that and grow as well? So that's where the data analytics and uh, working with partnership comes into play. I think it's very important to be able to use all the available data, including what's on Bureau, what we get through GST, what we get through our partners, and to be able to take the right decision. I think risk has been uh, uh, touchwood under control for us, and I think we'll, con we'll keep continuing that way. Uh, again, to drive growth, we will be looking at more partnership, putting more focus around uh, better reach out to the to the clients and making sure that our presence is wider. All right. Uh, Sangram, while MSME lending will remain the core business for Indifi, and you said you're also looking at new offerings, I believe uh, you're also looking to explore opportunities in sectors adjacent to lending. If you can elaborate on that and what sectors are you eyeing and how soon will that be? So most of our focus is, so there is a traditional lending, which is, you know, providing working capital, basic working capital financing, like a term loan, but there is also opportunities of doing payable financing, receivable financing, uh, large credit lending, lines of credit, et cetera. And that's where, that's what we are spending our time on to build more products, uh, which are required by our customers. And uh, while the, the basic unsecured lending will continue to be a focus area, 
we are trying to see other agencies which will help us serve different types of needs of our customers. Right, absolutely. But before we let you go, Sangram, talk to us about your SME portfolio and what is your outlook for 2024? I think the outlook is positive. Uh, we, like I mentioned, we've been focused on uh, driving our growth through a lot of partnerships uh, and reaching out to SMEs, MSMEs in the training, in the servicing, and in retail segments. I think that's, that'll continue to be a focus area for us. Uh, I think as India moves towards a five trillion economy, the opportunity of expanding the footprint in the MSME will continue to be there. And I hope we can grow along with our partners and along with our clients and ensure that we provide better services to them. All right, Sangram, uh, we've completely run out of time, but wish you the very best and many thanks for joining us on Startup Street today. Thanks a lot. On that note, it is time for us to head into a short break. But coming up next, where will India's consumer tech industry reach by 2027? A special discussion with Chirate Ventures on the other side. Stay tuned.